Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. I forgot this. Hi, Riku. Hi, Riku. Why are you putting your thumbs in his mouth? There you are. What's going on? That's a cool sword, Riku. Where'd you get it? Riku! Hey, hey, cut it out. I'm not dreaming this time. Right? I hope not. It took forever to yes. find you. Riku! I'm sure she made it off the island too. To hell. Wait a second, where's Kyrie? Isn't she with you? Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it off the island too. We're finally free. Hey, she might even be looking for us now. <laughs> Eat it, Riku. We'll all be together again soon. Don't worry. Just leave everything to me. I know this. Leave it to who? Who? Yep. Uh -huh. Sora, uh, what did you? I've been looking for you and Kyrie too, with their help. Who are they? That's very interesting. Huh. I was just looking at how you acquire all the magic. We visited so many places in the world looking for you. Yeah. Really? Well, what do you know? I never would have guessed. Oh, and guess what? How did you get that out of our hand? master. Who registered it? What's that mean? So, this is called a keyblade? Huh? Hey, give it back! Okay, how did you catch that so easily? That thing is metal. Catch. Whoa. Okay, so you're coming with us, right? The darkness. We've got this awesome rocket. Wait till you see it. No, he can't come. What the hell? What? Forget it! Oh, come on. He's my friend. I don't care. Yes, Riku and his very oh, odd keyblade. He's gone. That's a keyblade. Yeah, Soul Leader technically counts Riku? as a keyblade. Weird. Nice going. Riku, because later oh, we're going to well. see Riku be like... At least he's okay. And Lifford's going to tell him, like, and who knows? he abandoned Maybe you. Maybe we'll run into Kyrie soon, his new too. Friend. It's like, why would you think that? We, like, we, we were so excited to see you, Riku. We stuck our thumbs in your mouth. We had a good time. Oh, we can get this chest over here. Hi, Natitas. Yeah, that's weird. I, I guess there's a reason <laughs> Kingdom Hearts games don't have NPCs. Eat freeze! Oh, th this place is closed, I guess. Let's rob this. Hey! That goes straight to Sora. Because everybody else dies, and I don't care. Only me that matter. Yep, unless it's the next short quest. Which, this game doesn't have any of, thankfully. Yep, that's, that's for Kingdom Hearts 2. Mini. Mini, there's some in Land of Dragons. There are a couple of them. I don't remember them being too awful in 2, though. Yep, there's also one in Timeless River. Here, that's it. Uh, we should probably check on the nephews. Eh, we'll check on the nephews later. But Sid went to the third district, so let's go back to the third district. To the third. Let's turn in our postcards. It's actually very interesting to see what's down there. Uh, in the mailbox? Yes. Well, the mail. Uh, yes, and then some. We, we should look at other people's mail. That's illegal. Yeah, more so, it's kind of like... You actually get to see what the mail at warehouse looks like in uh, Dream Drop Distance. Interesting. It is an interesting place. You also can sell people's mail. That's illegal. Oh, Sora shook his head. That's cool. A witch man. She's a witch man. That was nine years ago. How old were you? Book. Okay, yeah, here's the cutscene. Why do you believe Maleficent? Manipulation. Look at her! 
Riku ain't the you brightest. It's He's really? more than but that ain't much. Yeah, that's fair. While you toiled away trying to find your dear friend, he quite simply I could the replaced you with some new Japanese thing. Oh, okay. Evidently, now he values them far more than he does you. Riku, you don't need a cougar. You're better off without that wretched boy. Now think no more. I'd say Milf, but I don't think Milfson has children. I'll help you find what you're searching for. Does she? You could argue if you go by that one live action Bloodstone movie they made. Yeah. What? Where they tried to make her the good guy and she was actually a very muggly figure to <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. But did she. Uh, I. That was just a weird movie. I, I saw Angelina it. Jolie. Who? Angelina Jolie. Why would I know her from? I'm going to love to Tomb Raider. Oh! Neat. I think the thing about the actual story of quote unquote Maleficent. Yes. I kind of want to. No, no, she's not really justified. She was just petty. Though granted, it was that very understandable pettiness. Boy, she wasn't invited, right? Yeah. And so, her someone unrelated? I mean, every other fairy was invited to the birth of the, of the uh, princess except for her. What? Why wasn't she? I don't remember. Again, it's one of those things where it's just petty reasons, kind of like with the actual story of uh, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, okay. okay. Beauty and the Beast, here's the thing. Curse the Beast, or Prince Adam, or whatever. That's fine. I get it. He was an asshole. Why would you curse the servants? I mean, technically, cursing Adam is worse contextually if you go by game theory. Or I guess film theory in that case. Which is? Uh, they what? actually did the timeline. Adam was like maybe nine years old when that happened. But if he was the master of the house, he was the master of the house. But... A, a nine-year-old shouldn't be. No, but if he was, that doesn't change that he was. But the servants... They're just doing their job, man. Mm. I think they're doing their job very poorly if they left a nine-year-old in charge. I mean, he was no, so, right? He was no ability. Yeah, he is Prince Adam. So they probably had to leave him in charge. He's the prince. I don't know. I don't think he's ever actually explained where his family was. What does Bell call Prince Adam? I think she's just called the beast. That's rude. Like, I'm trying to remember when she actually learned his name. <laughs> Does she? I'm sure she has to learn it at some point, but yeah, but a lot of times she just calls the beast because no one gives, gives her a proper name to call him. Uh, <laughs> God. Imagine that relationship. Beast, honey. I told you that's my name. Disney has problems sometimes. I mean, they made their legacy off of Daphne Grimm's fairy tales. Yeah. They did a, a decent job. Collect the stars. Grimm's fairy tales and Hamlet. What is the Hamlet? Lion King. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> I know things, I just don't know them. Which was like the Jungle Book was actually the adaptation of something else. Well, it was Hamlet originally. Not Hamlet itself, um, the Lion King. Oh, what was that? Kimba and the White Lion? Yeah, Kimba and the White Lion, which was the original Japanese Hamlet adaptation of Hamlet. Oh god, that rock is red! Okay, it's dead. I wish I could enjoy Shakespeare more, but I just I would recommend Overly Sarcastic Productions. Okay. Is anyone Red loves literature? Red, yes. Red loves literature and folklore and everything. She does very fun translations. Is there anything I've ever showed you their journey to the West, though? Um, I don't think so. It is very fun considering they they play it very straight. Journey to the West, aka the inspiration of Dragon Ball. They literally start and end every video about it with the previous on Journey to the West as in Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it already. Oh, that's good. Not meant she does a very good job translating because when you realize it, it's kind of like how I was referred to the reason why I hate the Great Gatsby. Oh. It is just trash reality TV and literature formats. <laughs> and she really just played things straight of, yes, a lot of Journey to the West is literally just shown in anime in literary formats. 
But shonen anime sounds more interesting than trash soap operas. Yeah, that's why I hate great, hate great, yeah. <laughs> hate great, great Gatsby. Great the hate Gatsby. Yes. He gave us one good meme. Which one? Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio toasting meme. Oh. So you you hate the book or the movie or the both? Uh, the book. I've never seen the movie. Okay. Yeah, uh, I had to read the book in high school. It it exists. It wasn't very good. And like, okay, and the Scarlet Letter. Uh, that was just that's just it's just trashy soap opera. Yeah. That's why I'm happy I didn't take E.T. Lurcher. And then uh, their eyes were watching God. I told you about this, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's trash. It's a trashy soap opera book. But here's the thing. It's written in phonetic Southern English. Oh, that sounds horrible. But only the dialogue. The narration makes it clear that the author knows how to write Good properly. Timing. Like, To Kill a Mockingbird? That's fine. I like To Kill a Mockingbird. Yeah. Over there but, like, there's some ain'ts, there's some y'alls. It's clear that they're game. speaking Southern dialect of, of English. Southern American English. And But you don't need to phonetically spell it out. Phil, how can you not hear the difference between Hercules and Sora? Hi, Dan DeVito. That's not Dan DeVito. It's, it's way off. too heavy. I'm going to still stand by my statement. Maybe because <laughs> we all have that man for so many more years. Where are they asking him to play Pete? Well, there's rumors or like oh, wants from to play Pikachu guy. and Detective Pikachu. What yeah. are you doing here? Yeez. This here is the world famous Coliseum. Heroes only. That is a And note. I got my hands full preparing for the games. So run along. Pipsqueak. Now, when you say heroes, you really mean heartless for the most part. Because like that's... This. Who shows up to fight? Heroes are coming from all over to fight ferocious monsters right here in the Coliseum. <laughs> yes, chosen by the keeper. I mean, he was chosen. Yep. Just a second. He's a real hero <laughs> chosen by the Keyblade. And yeah, he was too. By the way, this does not get resolved hero? until Kingdom Hearts Three. That front. Phil. <laughs> Sora actually becoming a hero. What's so funny? I've oh. a bunch of monsters. Doesn't he get his hero license in this? Oh no, junior hero license. Hey, if you can't even move this. Phil, what are you doing? Which is very right, 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 considering that is the one game which Phil doesn't get to speak. You can't talk yourself. Phil, stop clipping through the stone. The hero! Okay, so it takes more than brawn. I'm ready. Well, let's see what you can do. I'm ready. I'm bread. I am bread. Hey, that one game they made Mark about a pretty good controller and eat a chair. No, no, eating a chair was... Oh, Bennett Potty. Yeah. Well, getting over it. Is that enough I think people still more so understand if you just call it Bennett Potty. Yeah. It's a getting over it that can be missed. Not bad. For a Bagagner. See ya! See ya! Oh, I don't I don't get my empty Fire! Who are you, Phil? Those AoEs might be hurt. I'm trying to remember, was it only sarcastic production or someone else that actually tried to get context in barrels? What? Yeah, they're trying to, like, someone was trying to, like, give context to the barrels on why you're breaking barrels in this level. That's kind of stick out on the end. Uh, yeah, funny thing about that, there actually is a story of Hercules that involves barrels. Okay, I can do that. But yeah, I think it's actually one tied to where he kills his family. Where can he kill the family? Yes. Oh, oh, it's there. Oh, crap, it's there. Oh, crap. Fire! Oh, Lenny Kravitz. Oh, Kraft Nuggets. Two, one. Eh! I missed. Let's have a big save your MP. Yeah. How do I get my MP back? Damn it! Alright, get the far wave one first. I gotta, well, I gotta get the stuff on the way. Otherwise, I won't have time. I think I'll lift and throw at it. And throw. Why did that stick in my head of all things in Skyfire? Were you throwing frenies? Uh, no, it's the. Come on. 
Well, you know that's a mechanic in the sky. They actually yeah. just had an entire level dedicated to someone showing you how to do that. It's not hard about Sky 7, I never got a chance to read. Oh. Apparently they're like, not really a re-release, but more so a complete condi uh, condition. Of complete condition. Oh, that's good. Yeah, but especially after 6 was such a disappointment. What was so bad about 6? It was the first 3D one, and so they cut out a lot of stuff for that. Mm. Why did it even need to be 3D? It's just something that people want to see eventually. You, know, you ain't big, kid. <laughs> That's four Looks words, Looks like asshole. I'm headed for the games. <laughs> yes, Goofy. Though sad, I think Goofy only has four fingers. Why not? <laughs> Two words. Thunder. You guys ain't Rule number 93, heroes. kid. Concentrate. Rule number 94. Aid. Right, let's do a quick save. Do our due diligence to save. And let's go meet James Wood. Hades. Oh, wow, we have a lot of money. Thunder. We should probably buy stuff eventually. But at least we can warp back to Travers now. <laughs> My mom told me not to talk to strangers. Uh, rather a That is also an impressive chip. you say? Who are you? Oh, hey, hold on there, Fuzzboy. Oh, the, wait, let me guess. You want to enter the games, right? Well, then, hey, get a load of this. A pass? It's right. all yours. Good luck, kid. Whoops. I'm pulling for I'm you. I'm sure not, shorty. considering I think it's literally just the Titans of the World ending. Huh. Because doesn't James Wood, like, hasn't he offered to voice Hades for free just because he likes the role? Yeah. All right, preliminaries. No, Granta, we must always remember that for Kingdom Hearts 3, Olympus Coliseum is not in Kingdom Hearts 3. It's in Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Yeah. What? I never told you that joke before? No. When you start Kingdom Hearts 3, it doesn't start Kingdom Hearts 3. It starts something called Kingdom Hearts 2.8, which is just the Olympus world. Eh, that's funny. <laughs> and then once you beat that, then you get to play Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, those were Blue Rhapsody. Oh, that's right, we're gonna check Gibby's journal one point. Yeah. Although, okay. So this tells you, anyways. Fire. Yeah, that's all. But, so they just, they didn't let us join, but they let the Heartless join? I'd say they let Cloud join. He just robbed a man. Yeah! Come on! <laughs> What's up with you, Phil? <laughs> that's still one of my favorite jokes. And here we have Cloud Strife, fresh off of robbing Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh off of desecrating someone's corpse. Sinister. Oh wait, it did give the name. It doesn't. It isn't supposed to. Yeah, this. I think this is an older version than the most modern one. The my most modern, considering they re-released the re-releases. Yeah. Well, it's it's got some things though, because like it would normally show us. The name on on the on a more. On Actually, I think audio. that's just if you check the thing outside. No, because uh, in the in the video I watched, uh, the last let's play one, King Hearts one, it was just to show it up, like after it showed the match name, it either showed the match name and the name of the game, or uh, it showed the name and then the name, like the, the match name and then. Yeah, because I know you checked on the posters outside, it'll show you the match name and it'll show you like the enemies in it and the accounts of them. Eat it. What are you checking? I just want to remember their names real quick. Yeah. Because again, I do like their names. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can make it to Cloud and kick his butt. So it's Red Nocturne, Blue Rhapsody, Yellow Opera, Green Rhapsody. And then the one we kept running to back in Deep Jungle was Black Ballet. What? What's Black Ballet? The one we kept running into in uh, Deep Jungle. Oh, right. The, uh, the puzzle one. The Thunder. 
Thunder Jimmy. So the actual Thunder ones are Yellow Hot Rods and Cat and Thunder Rods. Take that! Yeah, there's a lot of Heartless. There are apparently 37 variants of this one type of Heartless. Dang. Yeah, I'll just cross all the games. Still. Okay. I don't blow it. Just take him out. The great god of the underworld is afraid of a kid? Hercules! Sorry, but my contract says... I know! You think I don't know? I wrote the contract! I know it says you're only required to kill Hercules in this tournament. But you gotta fight that kid to get to him! Come on! Have fun with it by murder. Hey, it's like that old... <laughs> I really do like that Rule number line. 11. It's all it's just funny. a game. So let loose and have fun with it! I mean, a casualty or two along the way. It's no big deal, right? <laughs> In hell. All right, let's see if I can meet Dude. Cloud for the first time. Stiffer than the stiffs. Eventually, we'll have to murder him. And by murder, Still I mean beat him in the Coliseum again. Like yes. to but come first, after service. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, we fight. Before that. Well, yes, but I mean, service technically gets well. Service. Can, gets can you murder. lose the Cloud fight? I think you can. Yes, yes, you can. So technically, service can beat him first. Yeah. Right, seven. Hop, shooting. So here we have Rapsi and Red Knock. We're going to back out. So his name is Paul. That's good, Paul. Look at that shield attack. Would be for the win. Come on. Heal. Yeah, imagine if we have to use potions. What? Oh, who's gonna sing it now? Paul, come on. Come here, he's a fight. Actually, you know what? I'm okay with this. Die, Paul. I wish you got an item on me for this. But no, just experience. Get him, boys! I remember, I think he does know Mommy Slash. Okay, don't go. Don't go for a full combo. I mean, that's just a general. If, you, if, you, if you're finding something looks very anime, don't go for a full combo. Uh, yes. I I'm not fighting not anymore. anymore. That's the best you can do? Well, that was a good one. Yeah, I don't have enough MP to just magic into the death. Because I very much need tears. Meanwhile, Goofy's going ahead like a tank. Yeah! Man, Go Goofy MVP! <laughs> Nope. Running! Oh yeah. Attack that goofy. <laughs> Good job, goofums. <laughs> I'll contribute a little bit. Hey, do more Donald. Yeah, Donald's just dead. Hey, two folks. Damn. That's the best you can do. How much experience you work? I know. Yeah, sorry, something just came back to my mind. I was gonna make a joke, but then I remember something, and now I'm just very horrified by the, by the concept of the mech of the holder. That sounds scary. Yeah, it was. What? <laughs> it's something related to Minotaur. Oh. So, fun fact about the holder reproduction. They can reproduce? Yes. 
do you think there's more of them? I honestly just thought they formed out the chaos of the universe. So here's what happens. A beholder will dream, and it will sometimes dream another beholder so vividly that it will spawn off. Like, it'll create something from dream stuff. Oh, I don't know. I think I was close enough with my explanation then. Yeah. Come <laughs> seriously, has one of the best defeats of the beholder. Namely? Uh, he just filled the room with flowers to make it inflammable and just wait for it to fire to attack. Eh. Riveting battle here! Maybe it's still better than what I would have done. Wait till Goofy gets on your ass. Hey, Donald, my land is the MP. You're not using it. I don't think Oh, yeah, he has it. I think Goofy has to learn the move that lets you do that. Hey, <laughs> Goofy, back in the fight! Speed up and shell here. Cloud get a super sword in this, in this fight, or does that that work? I think that's later. <laughs> Goofy is so old. That's so good. Uh, I'm being reckless. I should do that. Goofy said, mine's about where he came from. I really don't know if Avatar was the plane, but yeah, originally she. If I don't think there's a lot more personality, we're actually funny. Got him! It was all me! And he also learned something called. Oh, Goofy's learned something called Tornado. That's fair, he did most of the work. Yeah. I'm sure we should fight him this episode. We only got like three minutes left. Yeah. So, after that riveting gameplay of us kicking the crap out of Cloud by us, I mean Goofy, uh, we'll come back next episode and kick the crap out of Zerbers. So, whew, that was close. Alright, see you guys later. Bye bye.